I don't... Oh, well, that was not a nice thing to do from you, little lady. She just pooped on my table. So what do you think about that intro, guys? I actually made it today. Uh, I hope you really liked it. I already posted it uh, one week ago, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what you guys think about it. I don't really know yet what you guys uh, think about it. I hope you liked it. But yeah, when that video is uh, coming online, I will see that soon. Um, in this video, I want to show you guys all the updates that happened in the past weeks. Um, so yeah, let's do that right now. All right, so the first thing that I want to start off is uh, with my Pilocrania Paradoxas, which I owned. I owned four, but as you can see right here, something happened. And if you are kind of smart and you already see what's going on here, these are actually wings from my adult female or my adult male. Uh, what happened is this female right here, this is the first female that I owned, uh, adult female that I owned. Uh, she actually laid an otika, which is an egg sac, which I will show you guys soon. Um, and in the night, uh, after she laid that, she ate uh, one of the males from me, which is kind of a, a sad thing. But yeah, that's just things that mantises uh, used to do quite a lot. As you can see here is another, there, right there, is another male. And he actually molded yesterday. So I have two, or females, sorry. I'm getting so distracted. I actually have two females adult right now. And as you can see right there is one male that I still own. So I have one male two females i hope that the females won't eat the last meal that i have because then i'll have to get a new meal because yeah the otikas won't be uh, fertilized then so right here is the otika as you can see it's right here in this uh little bin that i have and i actually managed to get it off of the terrarium they actually um she actually laid it in the corner of my terrarium so not on a stick so i kind of had to uh, get it off but that was pretty easy this otika should contain about 20 to 20 to 60 nymphs so within six to ten weeks uh there will be 20 to 60 nymphs in here which i'm pretty uh excited about and i'm very uh curious about what's gonna happen because i'm not sure if it's actually fertilized but we will see in the future so the next thing that i want to tell is about my uh idolomantis diabolica which is the uh devil flower mantis i actually had five nymphs in the beginning uh you guys actually saw that in the last video that i made or not the last video two videos ago when i was talking about the shipment from poland from the exo factory uh, i had five of them uh, unfortunately i only have two left and that's mainly because of cannibalism i don't really know that much about this species and i couldn't really find any information about uh, when i should separate them i'm pretty sure it's not just uh cannibalism also a few died just because the um, circumstances weren't good enough. And this is obviously a species that's very common for having tr problems in uh, raising them. So I'm not really blaming myself for it that they died. I just hope that these two are male and female and that I can breed them lately. That chance is very low, but I'm still going to try it anyway. One other thing that's new is that I have these new enclosures for my mantises. The Idobolica Dilo. Idolomantis diabolica, sorry, uh, is also in one of these cages. I uh, bought these at uh, a German site, I think it was. And also have these small bonsai trees in here. The other species that I actually got from the video, uh, the Poland video, I also have only one of both of these species. Mainly also because they ate each other. So basically, they actually ate each other when they were molting. I don't know if that's a common thing to happen, but they ate each other when that happened. Both of them are doing pretty good. I don't know if you can see this right. The um, Hirodula is actually already pretty big, so that's a cool thing. But yeah, I also have just two of those left. All right, that was it for the mantises. Uh, we're going over to stick insects right now and leave insects. And this is actually not quite a big thing, but I'm pretty happy that I got my first breed breeded for my first own created adult philium philippinicum which i'm very happy about here you can see how well she is looking and this is obviously a very beautiful leaf insect also a very common leaf insect uh, one of the most kept leaf insects if you want to ask me here in the netherlands and yeah she's just very beautiful i don't oh well that was not a nice thing to do from you little lady she just pooped on my table God damn. But yeah, um, basically, I don't have a male yet. I can't really find him right now. I have a male, but I don't have an adult male. Oh, here he is. 
See, here's the adult male or not adult male, almost adult male. I think it, he has to he has to mold maybe once or twice yet and then he's adult. So we'll have to wait on that and then we can pick up the eggs. Obviously get baby eggs. The next thing, the next thing that happened is that my Heteropteryx dilatata female actually started laying eggs and I just spotted an egg on the surface of the substrate and you can see that I've put it in this small bin so there's one um, one egg right there and yeah I don't know it's gonna take a year until they hatch I'm gonna search every week now just to make sure they won't stay any eggs in there and get moldy or something I have vermiculite 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 I don't know how to pronounce it in English to be honest I keep them in there it's still not moldy it looks kind of perfect right now so yeah that's also a thing that happened very nice and the last thing, the last thing that happened is that actually a few of my extratosoma tieratum lichen eggs actually hatched. And this means that I finally could put them in the lichen enclosure. I'm going to try to search a few for you. Oh, there's one right here. As you can see right there is one little nymph. Let me try if I can close up a bit. And this is the oldest nymph that I own. There should be one more nymph. So I have two now. And yeah, they will be hatching soon pretty uh, pretty fast. So I'm pretty happy about that. I hope they will transform to the lesion form, which would be very, very nice. Um, and I will keep you guys updated about that. All right, guys, before I want to end this video, I actually want to talk about a few things. You may have already seen it on the YouTube. Uh, everyone's talking about it. And that's the COPPA. It's a new law that uh, YouTube actually made. And the COPPA basically means that you have to decide Side, if your channel is made for kids or not I think you guys probably already know what it is uh, but if you don't it basically means that you have to decide uh, with one video or basically your whole channel if you are children proof or not I kind of have to say it like that but the thing is if I decide to make a YouTube channel based for kids that means that you can't find me through uh, searching on YouTube anymore you can't uh, post any reactions underneath my videos and that's just a thing that I don't really like um, so so I made the decision for myself to not have a children channel, just have a children uh, a channel for older people. Uh, so that's basically, I think, higher than 13 years old. So yeah, that's a decision that I had to make. Another thing that I want to talk about is that I want to thank all you guys for all these subscriptions. Last video, or not last video, but the, the shipment video from Poland actually kind of got viral, in my opinion, uh, for how well my videos normally do. Uh, I had about 50 views in one day, which is insane for me. Uh, so I really want to thank you guys for that. If you guys have any tips for my channel, please comment it down below, because I really appreciate it. And I'm really trying to uh, get the best out of me and make the best videos I can. Um, that's also why I made that intro video because I just really felt like yeah I was I came to the point to to do that. I also have a few questions for you guys. I actually came with the idea because we are going to December right now or we all are already in December when this video is uploaded. A nice thing for me would be to make a Christmas special video. Uh, maybe I can do something with the viewers that watch my videos. Um, so if you guys have some nice ideas please comment that down below and maybe also make a New Year's special because you know New Year is coming too. And it's also something that's very important for a lot of people. It's very important for me because I get a vision about what I want to do next year. If I have to be honest, I will just keep making videos every week. And if my channel grows, I can maybe make more videos if I can get the time for it and maybe, yeah. But yeah, I wanna thank you guys all for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please put a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Turn the notification button on if you always want to know when my videos are online. If you don't, always at seven, or how do I say this? 15.00 Central Europe time. So 15.00 Central Europe time, CET. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you later.